So we are discussing DBMS output package in this session. DBMS output has seven procedures inside it. Enable, disable, put, put line, new line, get line and get lines. In earlier versions we had put S also. That is withdrawn. Put S is not available starting from 10G. Before that it was there. So we have only seven procedures now. So enable and disable will not accept any parameters and we do not use any empty parenthesis also with this. Enable makes the output of all the DBMS output statements to be displayed on the screen or in the output file. Disable it will make the DBMS output statements will not be displayed on the screen or will not be sent to the output file. So when we execute DBMS output dot enable procedure all the DBMS output statements will be displayed as output messages either on the screen or on the file. When we execute DBMS output dot disable procedure the output of all the DBMS output statements will not be displayed either on the screen or on the output file. So enable and disable will not accept any parameters and also enable and disable we do not use any empty parenthesis. So next is new line. New line will not accept any parameters but we have to use empty parenthesis. Empty parenthesis are mandatory with new line procedure. The functionality of new line procedure is moving the cursor to the next line just like enter character. Moving the cursor will be the cursor will be moved from the current line to the next line. When we press enter cursor will be moved from the end of the current line to the next line beginning of the current uh, next line. So when we press enter cursor will be moved from the end of the current line to the beginning of the next line. Similarly when we use new line procedure with the DBMS output package the cursor will be moved from the current position to the next line. So that is the functionality of new line. Next put and put line. These are same as print and print ln in Java program. In Java program print will print all the messages on a single line. Print line will print all the messages on different lines. Similarly in PLSQL put will print all the messages on a single line. Put line will print all the messages on different lines. But when we use put there is a restriction here. The cursor will be waiting on the same line. Cursor will not be moved to the next line. That is why along with put we use the new line procedure to move the cursor from the current line to the next line or change the last put statement to put line statement. These are the two options available. So when we use put procedures to display all the messages onto a single line either use a new line procedure at the end or use put line for the last DBMS output statement. So that cursor will be moved to the next line the output will be displayed. Otherwise cursor will be on the same line that means printing of the line or typing of the line is not completed that means the output will not be displayed. Next get line and get lines. These two procedures are used <coughs> to get the content from the buffer. The buffer content will be retrieved. Get line will bring one line from the buffer. Get lines will bring multi multiple lines 
from the buffer. We can specify the number of lines as a parameter. Both get line and get lines will accept two parameters. Both of them will accept only two parameters. In case of get line, it will accept two parameters. One is status, another one is the value. Means <coughs> the value from each line and the status. Get lines, it will accept two parameters. One is number of lines and the second one is the value on each line. But these values will be get from the buffer itself. Now let us see usage of these things one by one. Enable and disable. There is an optional parameter for enable. We can specify the buffer size. But there is a default value which is 20,000 byte. That is why specifying a parameter for enable is optional. We need not specify anything. Disable. It will not accept any parameter. Put. And put line will accept single parameter of any data type. There is an enhan enhancement for put and put line procedures in database 10G version 10G. Prior to 10G, put and put line were accepting only varchar data. It was not accepting the number data, numeric data. Starting from 10G, they enhanced it to accept numeric data also. So we can pass numbers directly to put and put line statements. Get line. It will new line will not accept any parameters, but empty parentheses are mandatory. Get line will accept two parameters. First one is the line, second one is out status. Line means the value of that particular line and status. Get lines. The first one is char array, that is the actual message. Second one is number of lines. This get lines is overloaded. There are two procedures with the same name. Both will accept two parameters. The second parameter is number of lines. First parameter is in first case it is char array. Second case it is dbms output underscore lines array. But both are arrays only. But it is overloaded. Now let us see usage of this each. First put line. So to see the output of dbms output statements, we need to set the server output to on. First we are using put line as one statement. The output is displayed whatever we use here. Welcome. Next, multiple dbms output statements. Triple A, triple B, triple C, triple D. Because of put line, all will be displayed on different lines as output. Next, we can pass character data, number data, function, expression, everything to dbms output dot put line procedure. It is doing the calculation also. 1, 2, 3, 1 plus 2 plus 3. It is adding and displaying 6. We are passing a function. The function's output value is returned as output. And number is accepting. Character is also accepting. Now let us see put. When we use all put statements, the output will be displayed on a single line. But there is the restriction as we already discussed. It is printing a single line. The cursor is not moved to the next line. Cursor is waiting on the same line. At the end, we need to move the cursor to the next line. Then only the output will be displayed. So as of now, triple A, triple B, triple C, triple D is a single string on a single line. It is present in the buffer. Now let us put the last one as put line.
now this a b c d is repeated because previously it was not displayed that is one result and current one one more result that is why it is giving three times if we re-execute now now it will come only once any number of times it will come only once see the last statement here we used put line so it is printing of that line and then moving the cursor to the next line automatically now let us use new line with em empty parenthesis at the end along with all put statements output is displays on, displayed on a single line you can execute any number of times it will come only once now we can also display separators for each output value or some tabular format we are using pipe symbols or underscores or hyphens now enable by default it is enable we can also use execute command we can execute package name dot procedure name the output of display let us enable it by default it is enable we are enabling it when we enable we can see the output it is coming now let us see disable once we disable it see as of now we are getting the output if we disable that and when we execute the same statement we will not get any output because dbms output is disabled so there is no output let us check show server output yes server output is on but dbms output is disabled let us enable it and then run the same statement where there was no output now it is coming that means disable makes disabling the output now get lines and get line let us see get line first get line <coughs> will bring one line from the buffer at a time it will accept two parameters line as varchar2 status as integer both are out parameters since both are out parameters it will give some output value in return so we need to have two variables to get the output of get line v line second one is v using as variables to store the values of output parameters we are using two dbms output statements and from the buffer we are getting one line and storing that data in v line and v status we are displaying the <coughs> values of v line and v status it has come v line the value of v line is a a a status is 0 means status is successful one line it is bringing first line now let us see get lines we know that this can bring multiple lines let us use so many dbms output statements and then we call the get lines and we need to have lines by default the number of lines is having 5 so we are passing <coughs> we are getting the output
no need to specify this it will bring all the lines whatever is there okay number of lines is in out okay this is in out parameter we need to spe specify number of lines since it is in out so initially it is taking 5 so this is not required so we are passing 5 and 5 is getting so 1 to 5 we are iterating and all the five lines we are displaying here one two three four five we are displaying five lines this is how the procedures of dbms output package will work get line will bring only one line it will start with first line if you want it we can proceed with second line otherwise by default it will get only one line which is first line get lines will bring multiple lines but we need to specify number of lines over there how many lines it has to fetch so that many lines it will be bringing and since it is array all the values will be stored over there we can loop it to display the values one by one that's all about dbms output package